Hi, -o. welcome back. I am Jason from Imagine Your Odyssey, where I like to bring you tips, advice, and how to's based off of my experiences in my RV. And from that, I wanted to share with you my experience from buying my RV for the first time. So today, I wanna to take you through five things that you need to get for your RV from that store. And then after your first trip, you can wait a little while because that'll tell you what kind of things that you need. That way you could be successful on your first trip and then you can wait a while because you can learn what other kind of things that you would like to have for your RV. And then you can search around and find deals and not be enticed by having to buy something right then and there. So that being said, I'm gonna take you outside with me and we'll go over those five different things. Now wait till the very end because I say there's five, but there are occasions when you're gonna buy an RV where you're gonna need the sixth item. So wait till the end and I'll show you what that one is. All right, the first item on the list is gonna be a water pressure regulator. It's gonna look like one of these or one of these right here. Now, I have a video about one of those as well as a lot of the other products in here. We got videos specifically based about these, but I just wanted to go over some of the things that I think is important for you to get for your RV when you first buy one. And the first item is gonna be a water pressure regulator. The reason for having a water pressure regulator is to protect your RV so when you go to the campsite and you want to hook up your water hose, which we'll do next, is because the water pressure at the park can go too high and damage your RV and bust some of the water lines. Now the next thing that you're going to want to get yourself is a water hose. One of these or something like this one here. You don't have to have the biggest, longest, fanciest water hose, but you do need to have one that is drinking water safe. Now make sure you look on the label to make sure that it is drinking water safe, but you need to get yourself a water hose. Now I recommend to try to get one at least 25 feet long. That way you can make sure that you can reach the post and if you need to, grab two of them. Now the next item on the list is gonna be water filtration. Make sure you grab yourself a good water filter. Now you can grab a lot of these at Walmart. Oh, also I'll leave a lot of these in the description down below if you want a link to get to one. But nevertheless, get yourself a water filtration system. Now these here hook directly to your water hose and go into your camp. Interesting. Now these here hook directly to your water hose. One goes on one end and one on the other and it filters the water going into your camper. And they're good for about a half a season a piece. You can get them in two packs if you need to. Or you can upgrade to one of these and keep these with filters inside. And like I said before, there's a video on this as well if you wanna check in the description down below. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to get is yourself is a surge protector. You can get one like this, or you can get one like this, a little more expensive, but nevertheless, you don't have to. You can get a little smaller one like this one. It'll do the same thing, but you need to get a surge protector so that when you hook up your camper to the electrical outlet and there is any surge in the system, your camper is gonna be protected. Make sure you get yourself a surge protector. Now, this one right here, like you were saying before, I made a video about it if you wanna learn more about a surge protector. Now, another item that I recommend that you get is an extension cord. Now, this one here is a 30 amp for my RV. Yours may be a 50 amp, but you need to get an extension cord. The reason that you need one of these extension cords or cables is because if you get to the campground and you find that the post that you're going to plug into is on the opposite side of your RV, then the one that came with your camper may not be long enough. So pick yourself up one of these. That way you can extend it to make sure that you get to the post. All right, so if you've hung in there this long, I wanna give one little extra bonus tip. Get yourself one of these. This here goes into the sewer system or into the sewer connector at the campground. You're gonna connect your sewer hose to this piece off of your camper so that you can use your restroom facilities. Now, that being said, most of the time, the campers that you are gonna buy at the dealership, they're gonna have the hoses installed. Ours did not come with one of these. So when I went to the campground, I found out that I had to have an adapter so that I could put it in the little hole into the sewer system so that I could connect my camper to it. Now I must say, if you're gonna go ahead and search and get one of these, you might as well go ahead and get a whole new kit. That way it comes with the hoses and it also comes with one of these inside of the box. Now the reason for that is because the hoses that you have in your camper and the hoses that come in the box plus this now gives you more length of hose just in case that the sewer system that you're gonna be putting this in is just a little bit too far from the camper and you need that little bit of an extra reach. 
These aren't all the things that you may want for your RV, but these are things that you're gonna to need to be successful on your first trip. Now, a lot of these things don't come with a camper. You may find a dealer that sells a camper and has a lot of these things already in it, which that is awesome, but when we got ours, it did not, and we had to make sure we had these. Now, when I went into the store, I bought a whole bunch of stuff, some stuff I didn't need, and I wish I kinda knew what I needed from the beginning. But here's a little bit of a guide of a couple of things that you could use in your RV to be successful and have fun on your very first trip. Now, if you have any other suggestions of things that you think you absolutely have to have if you buy your RV brand new for the first time, please leave those down in the comments below for all the newbies out there to read so that they can get an idea of what you think is important. Let me know what you think that you need to have for your RV when you first start. And until the next time, God bless.